What's up my foundation lovers? I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today. And today, we're gonna be reviewing a new foundation by NYX. This is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation. I think the title is really cute. So this is supposed to be oil-free, it's water-based, full coverage, mineral-enriched, and has a matte finish. I'm someone with very oily skin, so I always am looking for something that says matte finish. This foundation is only $7.50. You could buy this at NYX stores, you could buy it on Amazon, you could find them at Ulta, and that's pretty much only places I've seen NYX lately. I have this foundation on right now, obviously, and I'm wearing the color Cinnamon Spice. But the cool thing about this foundation is that there's actually 30 different colors to choose from. So I love when there's a foundation that gives you a nice variety of skin tone colors to choose from. And there's actually seven colors darker than my skin tone. Now when you go onto the website, it actually breaks everything down by the undertone. So like for mine, it says cinnamon spice, medium deep skin tone with neutral undertone. And like the next color up has warm undertones. There's another one that has golden undertones. So they really took their time to figure out how they could really make each shade a little bit different. Now this little bottle is a squeeze container, which is my preference to really squeeze out all the product, and is 1.18 fluid ounces. Every other foundation I've reviewed thus far has only been one ounce, so they slid a little 0.18 in there. Look at Nick's trying to stay above the competition. I don't know how much more 0.18 is, but I'll take it. So now let me jump back to this morning where I can show you how I applied this foundation. Starting on a moisturized face, I'm going to use the primer that I use in all my Foundation Fridays, which is the Rimmel Stay Matte. Let's also address the elephant in the room. I have the giant zit in the middle of my face. I really think that my skin waits for me to have to film Foundation Friday, and then it's like, oh, let's show up today. So let's go ahead and shake it up. I will be applying this with a beauty blender. Starting with about that much, let's go ahead and start applying. Oh, this is a good color match. One of the good parts about having acne is that I could show you how full coverage these foundations actually are. So I'm gonna put a little bit more in my problem areas. Ooh, yes. Yes, cover it up. Help me fool the world. What would we do without makeup? So here's the completed application of the foundation. It went on really easy, it was nice and creamy. I really like when a foundation is easy to blend out. I don't have to use too much product to cover my entire face. Has really good coverage. It's looking really matte right now. I just hope that it stays matte throughout the rest of the day. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my hair and makeup. And that's how we got here. So it is currently 11 a.m. I'm gonna keep on this foundation for as long as possible, and I'm gonna see how shiny I get throughout the day. And we're back, it is now 8 p.m., so I've had on this makeup for a total of nine hours. So as you can see, I am pretty shiny. It was so hard not to blot today, but I still walked around looking a little crazy for you guys. But I always get oily right around here, on my forehead, and my chin, those are just like my normal oily, T-zone kind of spots, but the coverage is actually still there, and I think it's probably gonna look good once I blot. So let's go ahead and do that. Grabbing my Walgreens oil absorbing sheets, I use these in all of my videos, if you guys are new. And I'm just going to dab it on here and see how much oil gets removed and how much makeup gets removed. Oh, I wanted to do this all day. So much better. So here's all the oil that came off of my face. It is a very full sheet of oil, and I do see the makeup on here. Now when I do see makeup on here, this does let me know that this probably will transfer, and I will admit, I did give someone a hug earlier today and got makeup on the shirt. I didn't confess to it, so I hope they're not watching this video. I will be using this foundation with a different primer, maybe different powder, doing different little experiments to make this last even longer. But if you wanna see me use this again, you gotta follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat so you could see how my opinion may differ with a different primer or powder. 
If you have a particular foundation you want me to review, make sure you leave me a comment and subscribe. I post new foundation reviews every Friday and curly hair product reviews every Sunday. So I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee, today. Thank you.